And the wait is almost over. Two coronavirus vaccines have been announced to be 90 to 94 percent effective. Our sunny side tells us what that means for us and when it might be available. This is the fastest we've ever tried to produce a vaccine in the history of the world. While there are many ongoing trials for coronavirus vaccines, two vaccines are nearing the end of their clinical trials. Both of those are sort of at the end of their phase three clinical trials and um, have some preliminary evidence about the effectiveness and safety of those vaccines and should be pursuing emergency youth authorization to try and get those vaccines distributed in the next two to three months. Callahan says that it's impossible to tell how long the effects of the vaccine will last before being publicly distributed. That's something that scientists are certainly going to be paying close attention to in the, the weeks, months, and years ahead. Um, and there is some thought in the medical community that there might be a need for, you know, booster shots, for example, just like with a flu shot, you need to get a new flu shot every year. Once the vaccine is created, there is still a capacity limit at how many vaccines can be produced at a given time. We have to prioritize who is going to get the first batch because there's not going to be enough for everybody who wants one coming out. So when you think about it, the fact that they're going to prioritize this for frontline healthcare workers makes a lot of sense because these are people who are in close contact with COVID positive patients almost on a daily basis. The risk of their exposure is extremely high. For some, this news of a vaccine may give them a mental break from this long battle against coronavirus. The vaccine now offers the opportunity for that to end potentially. Um, so I think one thing it's, it's hopefully going to do is bring some relief that people can look forward to this eventually ending. Um, you know, it's within sight now. It's not just elusive. And These two vaccines may potentially be readily available to the public in late April of 2021. In College Station, Sunny Sai, KAGS News. Thank you, Sunny. Both Moderna and Pfizer vaccines will both be required to be transported and stored in cold areas. Now for Pfizer, it needs to be stored at negative 80 degrees and Moderna can be stored at normal freezer temperatures.